This is my friend, Donald Brink. Donnie's probably the only guy you could bring an idea like this to, and he would have a special way of putting his own twist on it and looking at the design concept and seeing possible ways of modifying it or ways to push the thought process forward and kind of make something unique out of an original concept. Today we're building a 14 foot Tom Blake inspired modified kook box design out of wood. Oh, look at that in the sunlight. Are you kidding? Holy shit, the wood's so blonde. Yeah. Should you shop a straight down there? Yeah, that's just to like get, get a visual on it. This is insane, Donnie. So there is rocker right now. Like you'll see this one. Just a little bit of love. Mind you, this whole thing was just a big experiment, you know, between a couple of friends. Donnie had the idea of modifying the rail on the original kook box design. And I don't know, that's part of surfing, just experimentation and seeing what works. Right now, a little backstory on this thing. We spent a bit of time at the Surfing Heritage Museum looking at some really old boards and Kind of some designs by Tom Blake. And we're inspired to kind of continue the evolution of thought on those boards in our own way and celebrate that design and those ideas that they had back then and, and just hopefully keep those ideas in the water. Right, Donnie? Yeah, it's good to honor like the legacy that those guys, the path they paved. Well, I think staying and everything being square and released, just putting those angles in, I mean, it's way more difficult to build, but I'm up for the challenge and that was the design. Well, that's close enough. It was rad to see the work that Donald had put into the board, having it there in the shaping bay seeing the modifications, looking through the charts and the drawings that he had made to uh, understand a little bit more about the math that held this board together. Just couldn't wait to get it in the water. I guess this whole idea stemmed around spending time at the Surfing Heritage Museum in San Clemente with Donald. You know, just checking out these old boards, these, these massive wooden crafts from Tom Blake and just wondering what it would feel like to ride them. The first couple of ways I was like going all over the place. At the end I was trying to go as like impossibly deep and just you were gonna make it like. It was crazy how deep you were. I saw you like looking down the section and just giving it, rolling the dice. <laughs> <laughs> I 
At first, my first time was such a set, and I'm like, oh my god, like, I was so nervous, like, seriously, it felt like I was in a, at a big wave spot or something. Like, those first couple, like, moments when you don't know what the board's gonna do, and it's pretty insane. Sometimes it wants to roll out a little. Yeah. And you just have to weigh it down, and you can kind of recenter it. Because you were going out into the flats, and then eventually there was no recovery on some of those first ones. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Donnie, thanks, buddy. Ooh, buddy. It works. How do you want to go? You want to go ride a few? Yeah, I'll go get a couple. Yeah, go. It's yeah, so let me go get fun. my function. Trying to find a little space in the crowd where there's no one out, and you're a little. I was a little nervous, you know. And uh, right as soon as it took off, I could just feel the momentum and the weight just felt perfect, you know. And I was like, oh baby, this is gonna be such a fun surf. And then you could start visualizing so far down the line that it was almost like like a joke or something. Like it was laughable, like how deep you could be and make it and. The board hauled ass. It was so much fun. I just get a kick out of it, man. Like, it's so cool just riding a bunch of new feelings like that. It makes this feel like Waimea or something. <laughs> Oh my god, no, you were right in the curl. We were screaming like like schoolgirls. We were just like, ah! That felt insane. It's so funny because you stand there and there's just all this information coming at you, coming at you, and you just like, yep, a little bit of that, a little less of that. Yeah. And but you're going fast. Adjustments. But you're going so fast. So when you shit when you built this thing, how did it feel in relation to what you thought it might feel like? It feels way more just solid and steady than I imagined. <laughs> and I actually, I think you can shave off another inch in the wood. Easy. It's weird when you're paddling it and you get the momentum going forward and all of a sudden it just feels like you're gliding. Yeah. And it goes silent too because you can at times hear like the ta-ta-ta, but then at certain moments it's just peaceful, quiet, like silence, you know. Yeah, Donnie, good work, dude. Yeah, Mission, Mission success. Maybe we want to go back Piece out. Piece of sir. wood, so fun. Fuck, should that we go back out? is just firing. Yeah, you gotta get a couple. In the end, this project was really mostly about exploration. You know, exploration on new feelings, on riding the wave and seeing where it could take us. All of our sweet bird friends, yeah, they're singing in the morning light.
your soul and love your food Oh mother nature got your side So hopefully you just get excited to go make something. Try anything. If it floats, more than likely you can surf on it. <laughs> so just go enjoy and I'll see you in the water.